Hello there, it's Amazing Lego123 here with this Lego Marvel Super Heroes Iron Man 3 set. This is the Iron Man Extremist Seaport Battle. We do get a comic adventure. We get Iron Man in his Mark 42 armor. We get War Machine and they are fighting off Aldrich Killian. And as you can see on the front there, they are fighting him off, ages 6 to 12. So it's 76006, Marvel Super Heroes, Iron Man. Got Iron Man there. And then on the back, Iron Man has caught the villain of the set. And then we've got Thwack with the exploding life boy. Fazing with the flip missiles. And then here there is in a secret compartment. When the box opens, of course, we do get this comic book, which I think is a nice addition. And we get one instruction book, two numbered bags, we do get a sticker sheet, and I'll just take, if you want to see this page in the comic book, pause now. Want to see this page, pause now. Want to see this page, pause now. And if you want to see this page, pause now. And then if you want to see this page, pause now. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to go into the speed build. Obviously, this is already open, but I did do the speed build earlier. So, we're going to go into the speed build and take a look at the set.
And here is the Iron Man set. Now we'll start off with the minifigures. First we have Iron Man in his Mark 42 armour. Which this is not exclusive. It is also available in the Malibu Mansion attack. As you can see he's got his blue thrusters on the feet and hands. Really cool feet detailing. And then leg detailing. Torso detailing. He does have some gold hands. See they're just one by one studs. There's the Iron Man mask. There's his back printing. And then you can actually lift this up. And as you saw in the speed build it, it is two pieces. There's Tony Stark's face. And then there's his second face. That's what it looks like with the mask over it. And it just clips in place there. So that's Iron Man. And then with a similar design as in like the helmet and stuff. Here is War Machine, and he's got his red thrusters on the hands and on feet. Um, you're not supposed to put this on. He's not supposed to have anything attached to that kind of. But I thought, you get some spare pieces. In the comic, it has red laser beams, so what do you do? You just put them together and have a red laser blast coming out of his blaster. It also makes him look better. But yeah, here's War Machine, exclusive to the set. As you can see there, great feet, legs and torso detailing he's got the silver Iron Man mask and then there is his face and he does have a second face as well and how the weapon clips on pretty simple pieces As you can see he's just got one of those backpack pieces but then when you take that off there's his back printing and you can just simply Put it all back together. His thrust is falling off. Losing his head. And there. And they are working together to fight off this guy who just need to check on the box again because I forgot his name. It is Aldrich Keelian. Aldrich Keelian, here he is. He's got no leg detailing, but he's got a nice torso detail. With like a chest um, shirt, <laughs> losing it there. It is gone. Yeah, tiny bit of back printing and a pretty cool hairpiece, which I've just lost. This is his first face, and he does have a, another face, which that's what it looks like with the hairpiece on. But there's another special feature which I'm just going to show you if it will work. And I don't know if you can see that. But his face is glowing in the dark. Yes, just like the vampires from Monster Fighters, which in my display that I've got, they are glowing as well, all the Monster Fighters sets. Yes, he does have a glow in the dark face, which I think is pretty cool. And then there's the other face, but glowing in the dark. See, it didn't work very well because it's daytime, so I just had to... Trying to close as much as I can to get it glowing. But from a distance you can see it glowing pretty good. And then if I just close my hands there. Around it. You can see it glowing even better. So let's get more on the set. So now for the actual set itself. Here it is. We'll start off with the life buoy. Because that's the smallest part. See, it's got these blue pieces at the bottom, which make it look like it's in water. But the actual buoy is the red part, which just take these water pieces off. It's basically that. But it is pretty cool with the water pieces on. It's got these stickers there and there. Now, the main feature with this is you can blow it up, and that does work pretty well and that's the top piece that blows off and all you do is you push that down either way it doesn't matter it'll blow anyway you want it to so that's a pretty cool feature but this is the main set the extremis port C speedboat it's got these blue pieces on the bottom to give it sturdiness not sure if it will float but um I haven't checked yet. I might check in the video. I'll, I'll decide. But you can 
lift this off and there is some dynamite in there and as shown in the back of the box you can put a minifigure in there and you can close it up it closes up better if you put them with their head over there and then there as you can see they fit in which I think is pretty cool it's got some yellow pieces there um, the windscreen lifts up and down but I think it's just supposed to be like that so you can keep it smooth around there Iron Man and War Machine don't have anything they're just kind of flying about trying to stop them uh, this guy it's got some windows here and then there's a big gap there I don't like that I think because there is two studs there they could have put some windows in but still doesn't really concern me that much got the ten rings symbol there and on the back it just looks like he's got some big engines and then you see these which can move about you see those green parts there well flick missile but an extremely good flick missile as you can see here they're the missiles and they just go in those red holes there but as you can see you place these in and they push up because when you push them down it launches the missiles now you have to do it hard otherwise they will just fall in the boat and you also because he's got two hooks where you could probably put his gun and it's got a sticker in there there it is inside that ten rings piece is a sticker and their stickers on there and there and um, I'll just sit him in and he can go and have Iron Man and War Machine chasing him but without further ado now let's go on to the ratings for okay, the set. now on to the ratings for the set overall I'll give this a 9 um, main reason I don't really like how it's got these big gaps there but like, obviously the movie hasn't come out yet so we don't know if they're supposed to be there but still I don't really like how that's unfinished feels unfinished you can just stick your finger in yeah. but other than that you get two exclusive minifigures one really cool Iron Man an exploding life buoy two really cool a really cool way of using flick missiles and a really cool boat so I definitely recommend this in the UK it costs 19.99 US I believe 19.99 or twenty dollars something I know it's around that twenty dollar price point and two number bags as you saw it wasn't too complicated of a build and yeah hope you like comment subscribe and I'll see you again very soon bye